King. Now, let me let me just say this again: losing stinks. We had our chance, and we had some breakdowns. Um, you know, when you're this kind of team, you can't afford to have a mental lapse on two or three plays in a row, um, and still go. But I'm proud of the guys. Uh, we had our chances. We still missed some layups, some free throws, but we fought. Uh, they were engaged. Jacob was terrific. Lance was terrific. Isaiah showed some spurts. Uh, BJ finally started getting something going. Davion, Devin, um, you know, we're, you know, um, Terrence is still hurt. Tried to see if he could steal some minutes with him, but it was a mistake. Um, he's, you know, he's playing at 80% maybe. Um, and it was the same injury Ashton had. This is the same thing. And Ashton played with it, but it's hard because it's painful and, you know, you got to get treatment and either you're going to have to play through pain. I mean, it's just how it is. And so, but, you know, a lot, lot less turnovers. We, we just, we charged up. We've been working on jump stops for three weeks and, and we go and leave our feet in the lane a couple of times. And, um, but um, had our chance to win. I mean, that ball went in and out. And it's, I told him it's like buzzard luck for my man. And, and I knew I went, I went to Olivier anyway, because I have a lot of faith in him, even though he missed that shot against Notre Dame. I don't know if you remember, we went through this with uh, Brandon Knight where we missed all kind of game winners where we went at him. And that's because I had a lot of faith in him. And eventually by the end of the year, he made all those. So this is, this is one of those kind of experiences for the team, the struggle with this, they're trying, we're getting better. We're doing some good stuff, but losing stinks, just stinks. And we got to, we got to right the ship at some point, And then we got to start rolling over like roll over people. But right now we just got to try to steal one, win one, dominate somebody and then start moving on. Go ahead, Keith. Um, the runner up for Mr. Basketball was one of the stars for Louisville today. We lost you, Keith. We lost you. Am I back? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. As I was saying, who am I talking to? Who is this? Keith. It's Keith from Falmouth Outlook. Go ahead, Keith. I was just wondering, um, you've said that Dante Allen has to be ready for his opportunity. And when you're going through. So we can't All right. So, so we can move on, but I, of, I'll address uh, it. Here's what I would tell you. I told Dante today, be ready for your chance. If Terrence, if I don't think he can go, then I'm going with you. And it's going to be your opportunity. Um, there were two times I thought about putting him in, once in the first half, which I wish I would have, because I wouldn't have been able, would have been able to play him in the second half. If I don't play a guy in the first half and it goes on, that's, you know, but he's going to have a chance. It just wasn't tonight. And I coached the game to win. That's all I did. And you know what was great about tonight? I could just coach. I didn't have to hear anything or no, there was no back and forth. Everybody listened. I was able to coach basketball. Did you notice I didn't have frustration? Did you notice how much I was having fun? Like I don't have to worry about subbing a guy. Why'd you take me out? Like that stuff is over done. And guys listening to when we start coaching, there's not an answer before we even say anything. All that's done. Now we have a chance to take this next step. And some of the players, they, again, we got to take stock in why do we continue to beat ourselves with breakdowns? So why did you do this? Where was your mind? I believe a lot of it is how am I playing? And if I'm not playing well, I can't concentrate. And that means we still aren't there to where we're the team we need to be, but we're getting closer. Jerry Tipton, go ahead. Uh, John, this was a second straight game that Olivier did not have a field goal. I know. What, uh, what do you see there? It's just surprising. Well, first of all, we went into the game like as many times as we can throw him the ball, we're going to. That was the whole, our game plan. Uh, they did a good job of fighting, fronting, and doing some things. Um, and he, he missed some shots. He missed a couple easy ones. I mean, when you start missing shots, it starts playing with your, your confidence. I mean, um, and, uh, but we're not, it's not like we're not trying to go to him. We are. And I, he'll be fine, but this, is, this has been hard. 
I mean, he, you know, missing a couple shots, I'm going to have to get on him or get with him before he gets on the bus to just say, I love you, man. You're fine. Just we're, we're this wasn't just him. Jacob played so well. So I went with Jacob and Lance because they were playing better. I mean, that's what you do when you're coaching. And you may say, well, what about this guy? What about that guy? Well, it probably entered my mind. But I look at it and say, you know what? Jacob and Lance in the first half played so well. Let him go. Let him play. John Hale will come to you next. Al, it seems right, like right now your role players, guys like Jacob and Lance, Davion are all playing really well, but your stars are the guys we thought were your stars are not. How do you well, win it's games? Right. You it's the second. Do you say that second statement you said again. The guys we thought were your stars. There you go. That's 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 the statement. And and here's what I would say. Probably they also felt that way too. And now all of a sudden you get punched in the mouth and you start tasting blood. How do you react? Do you blame? Do you, it's fight or fight. fight? Do you do you look? Here's where I am. I can't make a shot. So here's what I'm going to do to help this team win. I'm going to make. I am not going to. I'm getting fouled. I'm going to do this. And so, yeah, you're right. Davion has been one of the, uh, you know, one of the guys I've been really proud of. And again. He never said one word early in this year, kind of like Emmanuel quickly, he never said a word, just took his role. Tell me what you want. He is so appreciative of this opportunity to be here, playing here, playing for us and our staff. Um, and, and so he's in a different mindset, which is why you start playing the way you're playing. Biggest thing for me, I don't play favorites. You guys know me here. If you're going to help us win, I'm going to play you. If someone else is better than you, they get the first opportunity. If they're not playing well and you get an opportunity and you don't play well, the top seven, they get more room to miss shots, make mistakes. It's just how it is. Since the game was invented, that's been what it is. You're one of those top five, six, you get more room. You're eight, nine, 10, you're going to get chances, but not as much space as those others because they've earned it in practice. They've earned it on the court. And that's what we do. But again, stuff changes. Notice we changed the lineup. I like it. I like Devin. How much better has Devin gotten? It's incredible. And again, he had two or three breakdowns that became critical. But, you know, he's just so much better as a player right now. Uh, plays hard, plays physical. Uh, Davion's diving on the floor, going for balls. Jacob, we're, look, you know, there are no more victories. We lost. And hats off to Louisville. They played well. But we got to look, okay, our margin is not high. I mean, we're going to be in a bunch of close games. We're not beating people by 30. So now it becomes how do we play to help us win as a team? Not you. Not you. How does this team play to help us win? And how do we limit – some of the breakdowns and many of it was defensively. Oh, I was like wanting to, you know, but you, you could see today, I said again, I told the team after, you notice I wasn't frustrated today. I just coached basketball. Wasn't mad, it wasn't nothing. I was happy and I had fun coaching. This is what I want to be as a coach. Teach all week in practice, get in the games and have a ball seeing these guys grow together. And I, I, I come back to the last thing for all of you guys. We have a chance to do paint our own picture. We do. And what do we want to do? Where is the leadership on this team right now with a loss like that, that we had our chances to win, just like Notre Dame, just like North Carolina, uh, just like Kansas. I mean, we've had our chances and we've dropped them all. Now, I thought we were better at the end of the game because we put a major focus on how we were going to play down the stretch now. And we scripted it and we did it over and we did it live and we scripted it, how we were going to play late. Um, when you're struggling, there's got to be great clarity. There can't be any second. They're, 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 they're not there yet. So there's got to be clarity where they can go out. What are you asking me to do? We've done a Yes, I got it. Let's go do it. And that's what we're trying to do. But again, we've had to spend so much time creating new habits and a mentality and get them to understand our culture. 
and get to know what's acceptable, what's non-negotiable. This is what this is to be a Kentucky. And now, you know, everybody's going to say it's over. Okay. I don't believe it's over. We haven't played a league game yet. So I don't believe it's over. And let's go do what we do. Let's keep coaching them. Our, our true fans, the, guy, the, the fans that are really with these kids, keep cheering them on. They're str- You think they want to play like they're playing the losing games like this? You're crazy. They want to win every game, and they want to win it for you. But I would tell you, I'm not budging. I'm not cracking. Um, I'm hacked off now, and I'm, you know, I'm not happy that we're losing. You guys know me well enough. But I got to worry about this team and where they are and where can I take them more than my ego about winning a game. If we'd have won this game, I'd have been so happy for them because it kind of takes the monkey off their back. Now, all of a sudden, here we go. But you know what? It wasn't meant to be, so let's hope it's the next game. Okay, we'll have time for two more questions. Kyle Tucker, first for you, and then Daryl Bird. Kyle Davion was the one guy kind of had it going offensively, hit four threes, had 19 points. You, in the last 50 seconds, you guys have three chances to, to tie or, or take the lead ask you three pointer at the late in the clock, the, the, the SAR jumper, which was obviously a good shot for you guys in the Boston three at the end. What, how does Davion not get a shot in that final minute? Well, it, what we ended up doing is we've got something that we ran and we got the ball right where we wanted to and got fouled. And that's in with a minute and whatever. And then the last play was for him or Olivier. So I was going, we were going at one of those two. And what happened was he came off and they both guys went with him, which is why he threw it to Olivier. Look, when you when you talk about you're you're playing against another team that knows how this kid's playing, what do you think he said in that huddle? If they try to get him a shot, take him out. So that guy that you're going to has to be willing to make a play for a teammate. And he did. So, you know, would I have liked him to shoot it? Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what Louisville did. Okay, Daryl Bird, finish us off. Hey, yeah, John, with what's ailing you guys, do you think you need more practice or do you need more games, actual games? Games, games. And in a season games, of COVID, where games you're going to lose and, and games, well, there's two things, Daryl. We need more time for all the team building stuff that we do here all the time. Because everybody says, how do you always get teams that are brand new to come together start slow and go. we team, we team built in the summer, we team built in the fall. So that we're trying to make up time right now. And I think we have not where we need to be, but we're making up time. The second thing is you got to play games. You can win to build confidence. You got to play games. You can win to build confidence. And this was the stupidest schedule I've ever put together. And I'd like to smack myself in the mouth. And I know now that, Oh, you don't want to listen. We should have played games up front that we had a chance to win four or five of them and then played four or five of the others, not eight hard games. And we still got Texas left. Who's like 10th in the country. Think about it. Now, am I doing that to me or these kids? It was to these kids. It was just dumb, but we, you know, we're in with all these teams. We're good enough to beat them. We haven't figured out how to finish off a game yet. That's on me. I'll, I'll keep working with them and, just like Kyle said, maybe it's, why don't you run something? So absolutely he's got to get a three or a shot. So maybe we'll look at that as an opportunity and go from there. Thanks. Uh-huh.